During the pandemic, uh, the QAnon movement has been, appears to be gaining a lot of followers. Can you talk about what you think about that and what you have to say to people who are following this movement right now? Well, I don't know much about the movement other than I understand they like me very much, uh, which I appreciate. But I don't know much about the movement. Uh, I have heard that it is gaining in popularity. And from what I hear, it's, these are people that, when they watch the streets of Portland, when they watch what happened in New York City in just the last six or seven months. But this was starting even four years ago when I came here. Almost four years. Can you believe it? Uh, these are people that don't like seeing what's going on in places like Portland and places like Chicago and New York and other cities and states. And uh, I've heard these are people that love our country, and they just don't like seeing it. So I don't know really anything about it other than they do supposedly like me, and they also would like to see problems in these areas, like especially the areas that we're talking about, go away. Because there's no reason the Democrats can't run a city. And if they can't, we will send in all of the federal whether it's troops or law enforcement, whatever they'd like, we'll send them in, we'll straighten out their problem in 24 hours or less, okay? Well, at, at the crux of the theory is this belief that you are secretly saving the world from this satanic cult of pedophiles and cannibals. Does that sound like something you are behind? Or well, I haven't, I haven't heard that, but uh, is that supposed to be a bad thing or a good thing? I mean, you know, if, uh, if I can help save the world from problems, I'm willing to do it. I'm willing to put myself out there. And we are, actually. We're saving the world from a radical left philosophy that will destroy this country. And when this country is gone, the rest of the world would follow. The rest of the world would follow. That's the importance of this country. And when you look at some of the things that these people are saying with uh, defund the police and no borders, open borders, everybody just pour right into our country. No testing, no nothing. You know, you talk about testing, no testing. Uh, Mexico, as you know, has a very high rate of infection. The wall is now going to be next week 300 miles long. Uh, our numbers are extraordinary on the border. Had that, and this is through luck, perhaps, more than talent, although the talent is getting it built when one party refuses to allow it. You don't hear talk about the wall anymore. But I will say this. Um, we need strength in our country, not weakness. Too much weakness.